Okay, so first of all, I am assuming that you changed the color of the data points in your chart using the method that I showed in the previous video. My color scale goes from 200 to 400, and I'm going to create the color bar on a different sheet. So we'll start with the largest number, which is 400, but I'm going to subtract 0 0.5 from this. So I will end up with 399.5. Then in order to fill in the rest of the numbers, we are going to use fill series. And we will fill these series in columns. The step value will be minus one, and the stop value will be 200.5, and okay. And now we have all of the other numbers. We will apply conditional formatting to these cells. And I'm going to select this color scale here. Then we'll go back to conditional formatting and manage rules. And then edit this rule. And I will change the minimum to be 200 and the midpoint to be 300, and the maximum to be 400, and OK. And now we are going to add in the labels. So I'll take this number here and add 1 to it, and then drag this formula up, until we get to 409.5. Then I'll select all of these cells until we get to 390.5, and then we will merge these cells. I will then type in the number 400, and align this to the left and to the middle. Then add in a new column here, and make it much skinnier. Then select this cell and give it a thick bottom border. Now we have the number 399.5 here and then the number 400.5 just above it. And the number 400 is in the middle of these two values. In order to get this to line up correctly, you need to select the same number of cells above the number and the same number of cells below the number. Now we will scroll down to the number 300, and we will do the same thing here. So I'll select these cells going from 309.5 to 290.5, and then merge these cells. Then type in the number 300, and align this to the left and to the middle. Then select this cell here and give it a thick bottom border. And again, we have the number 299.5 here, then just above it we have the number 300.5, and then we get the number 300 in the middle of these two values. Now I'll scroll down to the bottom, and do this again. This time we need to take this number here and subtract 1 from it. Then we'll drag this formula down until we get to 190.5. Then I'll select all of these cells going up to 209.5 and then merge these cells. Type in the number 200 and then align it to the left and to the middle. Then select this cell here and give it a thick bottom border. And again, we have the label for 200 lining up correctly. Now we can delete these numbers here, and I'll also go back up to the top and delete these numbers here. Then we also want to remove all of the numbers in the colored cells. So I will select all of these cells and then right click and go to Format Cells. And then go to Custom and change the type to
to three semicolons and OK. And now all of the numbers have disappeared. While I still have these cells selected, I'm going to give them all a thick outside border. Now we need to select all of the rows starting from the very top of the first merged cell and then going all the way down to the bottom of the very last merged cell. Then we will go to cells and format and row height and I will change this to 1.2 and OK. And this makes all of the rows much thinner and we get something that looks much more like a colour bar. Now I'll adjust the size of the columns to get this to look the way that I want it. Then we'll select all of these cells and go to view and remove the grid lines. Then go to home and copy as picture and OK. Then we'll go back to the first sheet and make sure we have the chart selected and then use Control V to paste in the colour bar. And now we have a colour bar in the chart. I will move this to the side and then adjust the plot area. OK, so in this video I have shown you how to get a colour bar in a chart in Excel and that is everything.